How to Stretch a Painting Canvas by Luke Szymanski. Today I'm going to show you some simple ways to stretch a canvas. The supplies you will need are stretcher bars, canvas, scissors, blue tape, staple gun, a squeegee or paint spackle, paintbrush, pencil, gesso, and sandpaper. For our first step, we're going to measure and cut our canvas. You can eyeball your measurement by taking the edge of the canvas and placing it about halfway up the stretcher bar. Use a pencil to draw a line and cut your canvas evenly. Once you've lined up your canvas and stretcher bar evenly, you can begin stapling down your canvas. We're going to do this in a diamond shaped pattern to begin, putting one staple on each stretcher bar. Turn your canvas in a circle and place one staple on each edge until your canvas is completely stapled down. For our next step, we're going to roll and set our corners for a clean finish. This painting is going to be in the landscape orientation, so we will roll and fold our corners facing down or up depending on how it is hung. For this step, it takes a little bit of adjusting. You want to pinch with your thumb and pointer finger as you roll in each corner to create a smooth transition from edge to edge. Again, it takes a little bit of practice. After you've got your corner tucked in and smooth, staple it down. Here's the rest of the process sped up. To slow it down one more time so you can see. Again, it takes a little bit of work. For our next step, we're going to tape down our edges with blue tape. Some artists prefer to have their paint trip over all sides of their canvas. I like to keep a little bit of raw canvas for a clean finished look. So for this I'm going to tape my blue tape halfway around the edge of the canvas. Line your tape up straight, press and smooth it onto the edge of your canvas. You can use one continuous piece of tape around the edge of your frame. Now that your edges are taped down, we're going to begin gessoing our canvas. First, we will gesso the back side of the canvas for rigidity and support. I like to paint a simple X in a square on the back of my canvas. Some artists will paint the entire back side of their canvas. To gesso the front of our canvas, we're going to use a screen printing squeegee. You can also use a spackle knife for this process. This helps embed the gesso into the fibers of the canvas. I'm also using a brush in this clip to embed the gesso into the weave of the canvas. You can do this process as many times as you'd like, depending on how much support you would like and how smooth you want your surface to be. Some artists will only use a few layers of thin gesso because they like the look of the weave of canvas coming through their painting. Some people will put many layers of gesso and sand in between, making their painting as smooth as plastic. Be sure to gesso the sides of your canvas up to the blue tape. After you have gessoed all of your sides of the canvas, you can wait for it to dry, then begin the sanding process. You can put a layer of gesso, have it dry, and sand in between each layer to make a smooth finished surface. For this painting, I'm only going to use about two or three layers of gesso. To show you what the edge looks like after your painting is completely painted, I'm going to peel the tape. Remember, don't do this step until your art is completely dry to reveal a finished look. And that is how you prepare and gesso a canvas.
Thank you.